Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. Giving God all the glory. My name is Anthony Daniels. Today we're coming out of the book of Mark, the 7th chapter, and we move down to the 36th verse, Mark 7 and 36. And I'm, I'm basically going through my notes and the things that I've highlighted in my Bible. And, um, and now we're on to 7 and 36, and it reads out of the King James Version. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much more a great deal they published it. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it. Now, Jesus is the one that is charging people that they should tell no man. And in this part of the Bible, he, he's just uh, healed a man who had a, a speech impediment. You know, he put his... Uh, he touched his tongue and he said, be open. And the man was able to, his ears were open and, and his tongue was loose because he, he couldn't hear. He had a hearing problem. Uh, and his speech, uh, he was deaf and his speech was messed up. And God healed him. And he chose, he charged them that they shouldn't tell no man. He didn't want them to, to tell people uh, what he was doing. I, I, you know, I've always, I ask the question, why would Jesus not want people to spread the word about what he was doing. Well, I think one, because he wanted people to, to realize who he was, not because of the, the miracles that he was doing. And that was a sign of, of his works. Uh, you know, and, and faith, faith does not come without works. So he had a lot of faith in God, and he, had, and he, he was able to do mighty works based on Jesus' faith. But he wanted men to come to him because he was real through them, through the Holy Spirit, not through his works. But see, it says, but the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it. Now, I think that's something that we've lost today, that they had back then. They, they, there were people who saw what Jesus was doing, realized who Jesus was, and so much the more a great deal they published it. They couldn't stop talking about seeing Jesus. They couldn't. They couldn't stop talking about their experience with the Son of God. They couldn't help but spread the good news about what they had seen him do in their lives and other lives and how they had found the Son of God and how he had changed their lives, how he had changed people's lives. They were excited about it. They were telling people about it. We need to be excited today. We need to be excited about what Jesus is doing in our lives. We need to be excited about what, what Jesus is doing in other people's lives, and we need to spread the word about what Jesus is doing. You know, there's a lot, th lot of things going on. God has given us testimonies every day. And, you know, we go to church, they ask us to stand up to a testimony, you know, nobody want to stand up to a testimony. You know, every now and then somebody stand up, they give a testimony, but sometimes perhaps got to ask two or three times, other times people run up there. We should always be excited about testifying about the goodness of Jesus, about the goodness of God, about how much he loves us. And that's one reason why I do these videos, because I, I want to share God's word. I want to share God's word, and uh, I think that God has given me a uh, desire to spread his word, and uh, I'm hoping to do it in more uh, progressive ways, but you know what? I'm going to have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have hundreds of videos that are talking about verses in the Bible that people can relate to and uh, hopefully, you know, nobody's, a whole lot of people's not watching them right now, so send them to your friends. But, you know, I'm just trusting God that, you know, five, six years from now, this, you know, people will find my videos and start watching them. You know, people will be touched by, uh, by these videos and start understanding and receiving God's word. Um, you know, you, you never know what's God, what God's plan is. And I pray that, that his plan is revealed to me, for me. Uh, but I'm going to keep, but I'm going to move out in faith. And that the things that I'm doing now, okay, are pleasing to God. I'm going to move out of faith that the things that I'm doing now where God has me where he, is where he wants me to be. And I'm trying to make choices that will keep me in a place where God wants me to be. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. And it's not always easy. Because my flesh wants to go out and do things and, and, and you know, wants to go back and hang out with people and, be, and, and, uh, and, and do the things that people do at work and talk about the things people talk about at work. But my spirit, man... Knows that those things aren't always right. 
And so I have to, we have to stay excited about living a life for God. Because when we lose that excitement, we say that we're going into a dry place. We've got we to gotta keep that excitement they had here. So much more, a great deal they published it. We've got to talk about how much we love Jesus. And more importantly, we've got to talk about how much Jesus loves us. Because it's not about how much we love Jesus. Because we, we can never love Jesus enough. We don't have the capability. But Jesus has a perfect love for us. And it's all about God's love for us. It's, it's his love for us that's important. Without his love, nothing else matters. His love is the reason that we're on this earth. His love is the only reason that we were created. His love was the only reason that Jesus died for our sins. His love is the only reason that he's shown us mercy and grace today and abundance. His love is the only reason that, we, that he gives us the opportunity to turn to him and be saved. His love. Not our love, not our faith. His love. His love grants it. His love creates it. His love is the reason. Mm. Remember who loves you? God does. And nobody, nobody can love you like God does. If, if, if something is missing in your life, God is the answer. God is the love, is a thing that you're missing in your life. Turn to God and let him fulfill you completely. Mm. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great and wonderful day.